I haven't really had the motivation or the strength to do any videos for the last week. But then my brother-in-law dropped something special off. You know, I'm Nadine Nima, welcome to the channel. If you're new, you should consider subscribing. For the last week, I've been sleeping a lot, mostly so I could rest the eye. But at the same time, I haven't really found any motivation to pick up the camera. I've been taking some photos, but nothing more than that. And then my brother-in-law came by and dropped something off that he thought I could like. They were cleaning out this storage unit and everything was gonna be thrown away but he came over a couple of old cameras and I already have a collection of vintage cameras so I thought why not keep adding to it. I'm not gonna go through all the specs on these cameras just like the origin of where they come from and where they were produced. The first one is Kodak Instamatic uh, 104 it's a pretty tiny one, I haven't really figured out how to use it. You flip this switch here, and then you can do that. The camera was produced by Eastman Kodak Company in the US. And also Kodak overseas uh, plans, for example, Kodak AG, Kodak AG uh, in Germany and Kodak uh, LTD, I don't even know what that stands for in England, a biocodec plant in Australia, and it got launched in 1965. The next one uh, that I got is, I, I'm gonna try to pronounce it, but I'm probably gonna slaughter it, the Yushahika Mi-1. A little cool one, kind of tiny. No clue how it could work. It looks like a little bluish. It's a small compact uh, 35 viewfinder with auto exposure. It was made in Japan in uh, 1970 and later was probably the first camera to be produced in Brazil in 1977. This one, I hope it, it could work. I think you can get some really nice pictures from it. The last two is quite similar to each other. They're both Polaroid cameras. The first one of them is the Polaroid Color Pack 80. I think when I looked it up, I couldn't really find, the things I could find was that they're, they're hard to get working these days. But it's a plastic body, uh, instant camera, which like it's, you get the picture right away. It's made in the UK between 1971 and 1976. That's pretty much all I have on this one. Let's clean it up a little bit. The last camera on the list of the four ones I got, it's a Polaroid WD33. That's can you go with that? Maybe? I don't know. The same thing, it's an instant camera. It was built in 1970 by the Instant Picture Pioneers. Kind of cool name. It's kind of cool name. What I could find that was that it was made in the US. It was kind of hard finding like really deep information. But the same as the color pack, looks kind of similar. Some uh, aesthetic differences, but nothing more. Like they could be from the same uh, company but I guess they're not really. If you go through the information I have, but you need to be, I didn't do a background check on whatever I got the information from. It doesn't matter if they're dirty or not, and whatever they work or not, they go on the shelf anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just wanna finish this video off by showing you my favorite camera that's on the shelf already. This is a Franca Sala Jr. It's German made in 1954. Got it from my grandma. The story I had that she told me that this camera was her first camera that she ever bought. And if I remember the story correctly, she even bought it from her dad. Probably the coolest one I have. Uh, use that pop out lens like that. This one, I really want to get working. Uh, Need to just need to figure it out. I haven't really looked into it. It's uh, it's a task for another day. Look, it's even have its own little tiny bag that you can just. I just love it. I love that that little when it pop out the lines like that. I will keep adding to the collection, and maybe in a year or two, I will need uh, a bigger shelf for for the collection. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I hope you like it. Leave a thumbs up if you do. Go subscribe to the channel so I can see you in the next one. All right. And it got launched in 19... Nine, and it got launched in 19... And it got launched in 19... 19... <laughs> and it got launched in 1965... <laughs>